You might know what an upsell is. It's a next level product or service that you're offering to existing customers or clients. But how do you actually go about doing an upsell? Hey, Matt here, founder of autogrow.co, and welcome to another episode of Matt Hacks, where in 10 minutes or less, sometimes I go over, I help you to be more marketing awesome with actionable tips that take your sales funnel to the next level and otherwise help you to accelerate your creativity and entrepreneurial spirit. So today I'm tackling the topic of upsells. How do you exactly do it? So as we've talked about numerous times on, on the blog in the past, if you're not familiar already, an upsell is really just a next level service uh, that you can offer to your existing customers or clients. Uh, it can be something complimentary. Technically, though, that would be a cross-sell. But in the marketing community, the words are kind of used interchangeably. Upsell, cross-sell, it can often mean the same thing when you say an upsell. In either case, upsells work. And if you want proof of that, just ask fuzzy yellow balls who doubled the average lifetime value instantly with one small tweak to their checkout funnel by including an upsell. And I'm going to talk more about that in the story behind it and the example coming up later this week. Another example or another person that you could ask would be Amy Porterfield who generated a hundred and seventy thousand dollars as on one upsell added to the checkout from her webinar product. All right, and we're writing more about that coming up in an upcoming article uh, very soon. So we're going to showcase that story completely as well. But the fact is, is that they work, and I can vouch from experience for this too, because we are exper experimenting with a number of new upsells as we lengthen our checkout funnel and our upsell funnel and create new, more personalized products and. I'm finding very quickly that they really do work. They work to have like a, if you're not doing them, it's like an instant compounding effect where you are increasing the value of each new customer because you're just, they already trust you uh, if they're already buying something from you. So if you offer something that, that fits, that's complimentary or that's next level, uh, a next level offer for them, and maybe you give a, a special discount or, or you offer it as a bonus. Very often, those people are, who are already buying from you are much more likely to then check out as a result. But how do you do it and where and when do you do it? Let's talk about that. So there are two major ways that I know of right now that we're actually practicing to effectively do upsells. I'm looking for new, interesting, experimental ways. I'll let you know what I discover in future videos. And you should subscribe if you're not already subscribed. There's a link in the description to get our newsletter. But the first way is with checkout. And there are a couple of examples of this from major players like GoDaddy, obviously a very successful multi-billion dollar company. And the idea is that if you are already buying a website, you know, chances are that you also need hosting for that website. And maybe you also want other complementary products and services like uh, additional support for maintaining your website, if it's a WordPress website, for example, or maybe you need email, uh, an email system similar to uh, what Google Apps offers. So there are a variety of services that they will directly try to upsell to you at checkout. And GoDaddy is actually famous for this. It is uh, probably the largest company that I first that I noticed was one of the first ones to do this. So if you're looking for an upsell process to, to study, go look at theirs. And the other big example that I've just started to see them doing it more recently, and I expect them to uh, do this more and more frequently as time goes on, is Amazon. Uh, Amazon, the, the biggest retailer on the planet, I believe that their uh, market cap is uh, something like uh, probably approaching uh, four, well, I don't want to say the wrong number, but 
we'll say about 200 to 300 billion dollars, I believe, is the market cap, or maybe that's actually just Jeff Bezos, the founder's net worth. In either case, uh, they're, they're, they're one of the uh, biggest companies on the planet, and they A-B test the hell out of their website. So if you want an example to study, this would be another one of them. You can see that, for example, on a physical product that you're buying, they might offer some sort of a warranty uh, as, a, as an upsell or, or insurance, for instance. So that's what, what I would call a short upsell looks like. And what a long upsell looks like is with an email autoresponder where over time you are nurturing people, you're working to bring them perhaps back to a sales page that they may have left or just bringing them to a sales page after you've given them educational content and work to kind of build a relationship a little bit, show that you're trustworthy and just to kind of catalyze that relationship, right? So uh, this is what you do using uh, drip campaigns, email sequences, autoresponders. They all mean the same thing. I feel like marketers should maybe just get together at some point and you know, decide on what things will be called because there are so many different interchangeable names for some of these things. You know, like psychologists, they have like the, uh, the DSM uh, 4 or 5, you know, where they have labels for every different types of uh, diagnosis. I feel like marketers need that because we're just all saying the same thing but with different words too often. Anyway, uh, this is the other type of upsell. And uh, now getting to the, touching on, on the question of how do you actually do it? Well, with a long upsell using email autoresponders, the tool that I recommend is ActiveCampaign. And for the price and for the value, they have, uh, they have pretty good support. Um, I've been a customer of them for uh, a matter of years now, at least, at least uh, three years. And I'm, I'm very happy. You know, there, there's been the occasional bug, but actually, um, you know, they're less and less of a startup every day. So that's actually become more of a thing of the past. Um, and I've been pretty happy with their support. Now, as far as doing upsells at checkout, let me show you the tool that I recommend for that. The tool for doing upsells immediately at checkout, or doing short upsells, if you will, is SamCart. And I reviewed them in a recent video last week where I compared SamCart with ThriveCart, and it drew a little bit of controversy. If you want to go check that out, you can uh, watch and read the full review uh, just by going to autogrow.co forward slash blog and it should be in the blog roll there um, or you can find it on our YouTube channel. In either case, I won't go into too much depth except to say that they really give you a lot of flexibility as far as uh, doing upsells immediately at checkout for customers who are buying them, including the ability for one, one click upsells uh, as well as downsells if someone rejects an initial upsell offer. And you can really make it quite long and detailed, up to five sets of upsells uh, at the time of this video. Plus the interface just is fairly user-friendly, not complicated. So here's the one action that I want you to take and execute on from this video to start getting new results. Because watching this video is great, taking action, getting results, getting some momentum under your feet that's going to carry you forward to that next step so much better. So you got to do it. So the one action from today's video is I want you to think about and brainstorm what, what could be your upsell? Because I think for most people watching this, you might be saying, well, Matt, like I don't have an upsell. You know, I, I have a service or a product I'm currently offering. So regardless of what it is you're selling, think about what exactly you can offer. It can be uh, if, you're, if you're selling products, you can offer some sort of a beginner plan or you can create like a super pro version with tons of extra bonuses and, and add-ons um, and if you're selling a service uh, maybe there's a light version of your service maybe there's a um, you know to give you to give you a, a quick example um, so for instance and this is called, in the case of product businesses, a product splinter. In the case of service businesses, I call it a service slice. Uh, in either case, it's where you take a core product and you kind of slice off a part of it that you can offer as its own focused offer. 
And that way, if you have a tripwire, it's more of a graceful upsell because if you're selling a tripwire for $7, $10, $19, whatever, and then you try to move people into your core offer, which might be $200, $2,000, $10,000, whatever it is, it's not a very graceful, you know, from $7 to uh, to a thousand dollars. It's not a very graceful incline in terms of price and most people will just reject that So instead you want something in the middle you want that upsell in the middle that's going to work So consider doing a service slice. That's really just part of your service. All right, and In the case of a product it would be a product splinter. All right, so your homework is to brainstorm three ideas for upsells from this video for your business so as soon as this video finishes I want you to go take a notepad and you know turn off the laptop turn off the computer so you can focus and take less than five minutes to write down your ideas don't censor yourself just brainstorm you don't have to get it right right away but write down three ideas okay so that's it for today's video if you never want to miss out on another mat hack be sure to subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube you can subscribe via email using the link in the description directly below this video and if you're watching this on our blog there's a link in the yellow box directly below this video as well all right so tune in next time when i tell you the story of a little known company called fuzzy yellow balls i mentioned them in the introduction fuzzy yellow balls funny name but serious business they're a multi-million dollar company and i'm going to tell you how they doubled the average value of a new customer to their business coming into their funnel. All right, I'm gonna tell you that story. So once again, as always, my name is Matt Ack in the Matt Hat, delivering you your daily dose of Matt Hacks. Keep hustling, stay focused. I'll see you in the next video.